let's go through how you create your own custom conditional formatting in Excel. Maybe you already knew that in the home tab in the ribbon you have conditional formatting and here you have predefined conditional formatting on when the formatting should be applied. For example, you could select all the units and then conditional format all the cells with a rule that says if the cell value is greater than, then it should be formatted. But you can also set your own conditions and create your own customized conditional formatting. For example, let's say here in the D column, you want to fill the cells when the percentage of the total for each row is above 4%. That's not possible if you select the D column and try to use one of the predefined uh, cells rules. Instead, what you need to do is that you select new rules down here and here in the bottom use a formula to determine which cells to format. And to determine if the cell will be formatted or not is if the formula is evaluated true. What I usually do is that I write the formula inside of Excel first and then I apply it here in the conditional formatting when I create a new rule. The formula will be equal sign and the C2 and then above and then 0 0.04. That means 4%. If I press on enter it will be evaluated true. Also we need to make sure that we have the right reference with the dollar signs here on the reference to C2. For example, if we select the entire column and use this formula, then the first cell will be D1 and then D1 will evaluate whether or not C2 is above 4%. So we need to make sure that the formula is written in the first cell that we later on will have our conditional formatting rule set to. If this is the first cell and we select all these cells, then the next cell, this one here, will evaluate whether or not the C3 cell is above 4%. And if we were to apply the rule also to the E2 cell here, then we need to make sure that we lock the reference to the column C. And we do this with the dollar sign before the reference to the column. In this case, if we were to copy this here to the E column, we will see that the reference will still be to C2. And now we're happy with the reference and we copy it. We select our cells. We head over to the Home tab in the ribbon, press on Conditional Formatting, New Rule. Here in the bottom, use a formula and then we paste our formula. And then we go to format and then make our format when it's evaluated true. For example, we create a fill with a pink background, press on OK. And now we can see that all the cells in the D column will be pink if the cell in the C column is above 4%. And that's how you create your own formula to customize a conditional format to your cells in Excel.